What is good, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Fox Den. It's your boy Foxy. Get into the next episode of Ninja Kamui. Immediately, episode four of the first season. I don't even know how long the season is going to be. Is it a season or is this going to be like a continuing series? I'm assuming it's going to be. I'm assuming it's a season. I don't know how many episodes are going to be in it, though. If it's going to be like a one core, 12 episode, two core, 24 ish episode. I don't really know, but I'm fucking loving it so far. Where we left off last episode, as I was just talking about. Uh, Owls is definitely involved. They got the FBI in their pocket. They're working alongside the ninjas and using them to be able to, you know, further spread their technology wherever they want to, even if other countries do not want it. They will just simply get them the fuck out of the way, whoever's blocking it, with the ninjas. And also seeing uh, Higan, we found out his real name, and him working together with Morris officially now. You know, maybe for the time being obviously because morris is still keeping that uphold like you know F fbi cop like mindset where he's gonna have, he, you know he said that he's gonna arrest him eventually so all in all we learned a good amount about alza last episode and also seeing another assassin try and take out egon who i guess was maybe under this small ninja that we've met who was talking to a higher up from the ninja clan last episode as well and that's where we got the confirmation of Higan's name because they were talking about him and mentioned Higan of him being able to, you know, he keeps on escaping and shit. So that put two and two together. That's who they're talking about. That's his real name. That's pretty much what we got last episode besides the end of it where Emma, Mike, Morris, I think, is it Mike Morris or is it just Morris? I think it's Mike Morris and Higan were in her, you know, basically car computer combination and they were you know doing their own research and what she had known about Alza already stuff like that and that's where that other assassin it's striked he striked right at that moment as they were in the car and literally uh some other big fucking truck made them flip and so emma and mike morris were out cold while he gone took out that assassin and then basically taunted the guy whoever was behind behind that camera which was the small ninja we know but i don't think Higan is aware of who that is and then all of a sudden he opens up this bag he has a bunch of cell phones and one of them's ringing answers it and the motherfucker's like oh we can finally talk he gone and he's like shocked obviously because nobody should know his real name at least that's what it seems like to him nobody should know it so he's very very shocked by him whoever this is knowing his actual name and uh it seems that maybe We'll start right where we left off and get into that conversation, I'm hoping. So that's where we're at. Let's get into the fucking episode. If you guys enjoy the reaction, please like down below. Comment, subscribe if you're new. Hit that notification bell so you know the next one's dropping. Let's get into it. Ninja Kamui episode four. Right where we left off. まだ。あざしてえいくのだ。町は行方不明の防犯システムに守られている。信用するとでも思っているのか。人を知り、我を知られぬ仕業こそ。忍びの者の高者とはいえ。その他、忍びの。ニンジャポン。あ、ニンジ
そいつは本当にお前と同じ抜け人ってやつなのか古くから組織に伝わる歌を知っていたこの国に渡ってからは誰も口にしなくなった歌だうーんだけで信用するってのかよもし罠だったら殺すだけだだから堂々と言うなあくまで一時的な休戦だ<笑>でこっちはどう町に入る支局長までの調子じゃ俺もマークされてるかもしれん。Yeah, FBI has got eyes on you, motherfuckers. 何がやるよな。ああ、無理です。<笑> Can't be done. ただ、別の手がかりはつかみましたよ。本当かダークウェブでアウザのことを語ってる人たちのコミュニティがあって、うん、世界征服を企んでるとか、とんでもない殺戮兵器を作ってるとか、アウザの元研究員を名乗る管理人を特定しました。Former researchers. <laughs> okay, so she's in it for the money. <laughs> That's what she meant by glory. Mm, yep. That is a classic ninja trope. Detach yourself from emotions. Damn, and, he, and that makes him think of his own situation because he's thinking back like, yeah, he, he did a little too much for the code. He wasn't paying attention to his family, and then all of a sudden his daughter, his daughter's dead. You gonna bend over for him? この道具皿野郎にテクニックの詳細を説明してよろしいでしょうかやめておこうあと言葉遣い心配は無用ですシティの防壁は 100% impenetrable 待て待てアスカその 100% っていう言葉を軽々しく口にするなビッグ D 聞いてる His name's Big D 今日はいつもより部屋が決まったのだもしもこの忍びが私の部屋を生み出すのなら <laughs> he messes up my new fate. He's fucking dead. Oh my god. Damn. He, is that his secret art? He basically has the force. This is a table of all the big dogs right here. Mm, what was that bird? Was that bird paying attention on the end of the conversation? Is that bird belong to somebody? Or is that bird somebody? Oh, this is the Reaper. What the fuck is going on here, bro? Always a mission first. Who's this ninja that just took out all these people, though? Oh, a flashback. Oh, 
Oh, so that was one of the missions that they were that they were tasked with that we were seeing just a second ago? Because it was three of them, and it's three of them here right now. And they're getting, that looks like there was the new, the new head of the clan. Mmm. Wow, some foreshadowing in this in this flashback because I think this is the Reaper. Thicker than blood. <laughs> Damn. Bro, they make such swift work. Easy. Damn. So that was Higan protecting Mari. Or, or Mary, her name. She, she hesitated there for a second since so she saw a child. Damn, she was ready to kill herself? Wow. Wow. Love at first sight. That's the way he just put it, basically. Is that when he noticed that they had a relationship? I mean... Oh wow, he still holds on to that fucking sake cup. He's been tasked with killing him, he's gonna run into him. That's his old fucking teammate. Ah. Yeah, cause she's not close to, she's not close to retirement or anything. She has other cases that she needs to work on probably. Oh, wow. Damn! <laughs> they just got drones patrolling this shit the whole fucking time. If you ain't allowed here, bop! You're dead. God damn. Damn. I wonder who this person is, bro. Imagine just the Reaper. Imagine the Reaper is actually still trying to help out his old buddies. He's just on the surface, seeming like he's obeying. Mm. She actually enjoys his teachings. Yeah. 
Still has a picture of his daughter. Here we go. See if you can get the fuck in. So it doesn't matter if the camera see him? Didn't even fucking notice some motherfucker just jumped over your ass, bro. Ooh, parkour? Oh, wow. This is, yep. The fucking lasers actually got his ass. So clean, bro. I was about to say, I don't think you could actually get past those lasers since they change every two seconds. Made it pretty re realistic. Oh shit, the Reaper, here he is. Mm-hmm, they know each other. No, come on, bro. Okay, thank God I got another one to watch. Holy shit, bro. Right when they meet up. Crazy cliffhanger, holy fuck. Alright guys, what another fucking amazing episode in Ninja Kamui. This one really starting to heat up on him trying to get into Owls' City. I shared a little bit more information with Mike Morris and Emma uh, towards the beginning about like who he's meeting up with. I mean, that's pretty much where we got right where we left off of last episode was that phone call. And apparently it's somebody who's also been exiled from the clan, you know, an ex-ninja. And they repeated a poem that he only people from a certain age from that you know old clan would know so that's what really propelled him to somewhat trust him and then he actually went to this location eventually after sharing some of this information with emma and morris we also saw a little bit of a meeting between the head of alza his supervisor or not supervisor but fucking like assistant or something like that some dude named big d who ain't fucking with nobody fucking up his fade you better watch the fuck out <laughs> And then the current head, I'm assuming current head of the ninja clan, the small ninja, and somebody else was there. It looked like some, like maybe like an AI robot, so to speak, because I, all I remember him really saying, or the robot really saying, if it is a robot, that the um, security systems are basically 100% impenetrable. And then the fucking, you know, head of Alza was like, whoa, 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 100%, be careful how you say that, you know, or how leisurely you say that, you know what I'm saying? Before you say 100% and then he gets the fuck through. Gave us that information, saw that little talk, and it seems like that's the that's the table with all the big head honchos, you know what I'm saying? I don't know how Big D's involved, I don't know how the rest of them are involved, business, you know, relationships, what, you know, whatever have you. But that seems like the table of the, of the top dogs. We saw that little bit of conversation. It seems like a crow was listening in on it, possibly, because it panned to some bird flying away after the conversation ended. So maybe that bird was controlled by somebody, or maybe it actually is someone. It showed that crow again at the end of this episode once he started actually starting to try and get through. And, uh, you know, he was listening to... he. I guess he has, like, an earpiece or something where the uh, other ex-ninja was giving him instructions as, like, follow them perfectly and you should be fine. And he was doing really well, he got past most of the patrols, and then the lasers came up. And he was dodging them really well in, in their first set of patterns, right? But the pattern changes every two seconds. That's very quick. And sure enough, once the pattern changed, the alarms went off. And it was like, all right, don't stop, just keep going. Got through, a, like, three guards, and then was literally about to get to that fucking barrier where he was going to set it down for five seconds and get through. And then that's where he runs into fucking Reaper, his old, you know, teammate, buddy, accomplice whatever you want to call it. It was a you know, team of three of him, his wife, and Zai, who is apparently the Reaper. It seems like they're actually going to face off. And I'm wondering, because I was saying also, like maybe this ex-ninja that is uh, in contact with him or trying to help him is the Reaper himself. Like, that'd be crazy, right? But that's not confirmed yet. And it seems that they actually are going to face off. And there's still somebody talking in his ear while Zai, the Reaper, defended against... Egon getting through so maybe this ex ninja isn't the reaper and the reaper really is still like you know living for the code and all that and like it was the one that stuck true to the ways of the ninja and, and the clan so 
I wonder who this other this other ex ninja is if it isn't the Reaper. If because it's got to be somebody I feel like he knows from the past that we just haven't you know gotten a flashback of yet or or you know uh, he has to already know him since he's also an ex ninja. I, I would feel like, but then again we don't know. But right at the end there we got that cliffhanger of them facing off against each other, and so if he wants to get through, he's gonna have to get through him. So I'm assuming next episode that's it's gonna be like a good portion of it is just seeing them go the fuck at it. And that's going to be hype as shit because this is literally the Reaper who has an infamous, infamous nickname like that. And then he gone who we've seen what he's capable of. I mean, he's fucking nasty. So this is going to be very interesting to see. And I can't wait. So let's wrap this up. Get in the next episode. If you guys enjoy the reaction, please like down below. Comment, subscribe if you're new. Hit that notification bell. See you in the next one's dropping. I'll see you on the next one. Y'all be good. Deuces.